This video is my recommendations about why not to buy the Pixel 4. Okay, there are a lot of issues with the Pixel 4. Um, unfortunately, um, one thing is it comes with Gorilla 5 glass rather than Gorilla 6, like on an iPhone, or many other Androids for that matter. Um, also, uh, the storage options is only 64 and 128. But Google also, in their wisdom, decided to take away the full uh, storage options that they had as far as full quality storage on the uploads. And so you don't have that anymore. And also, 128 is still not nearly good enough when most everybody else these days are either doing 256 or 512 uh, gigabytes. Also, in addition to that, uh, the Pixel 4 has another problem in that it uses Face ID. Well, with a Face ID that it uses, it cannot tell if your eyes are closed, it can't tell if you're asleep, um, and so there's a lot of situations in which um, it's not even safe. Somebody could even be walking down the street and, and pick up and, and pull your, your iPhone out of your hand and, and point it to your face and, and it would be unlock and, and they could just run away with it and it would be their phone. So that's crazy. Um, so um, Google has not at this point uh, made it good enough, the Face ID good enough that it's really usable uh, and safe for anybody of any sensible mind to use. Um, the, uh, it, it will get better and, and hopefully Google will address this, this question and, and get to the bottom of this relatively quickly, but um, that, that's an issue too. Okay, so the storage options are bad, uh, the build quality is Gorilla 5 rather than Gorilla 6. Um, it, in addition to that, it has a radio thing on there um, so you can wave your hand across it and back and so far the reviews are not really that great as far as how well that works. Some people say as little as 10%. Um, so that's probably not a great thing. Um, as far as the video quality, uh, the front facing camera is only 8 megapixels. It does not do 4K. Um, and the rear cameras uh, will, will only do 30 frames per second at 4K. Uh, so the video on this is really not that great. The picture quality is pretty good and you do have more control as far as turning on or off night sight and stuff like that. So that's good. Um, as far as um, many other features about the phone, it um, simply d does not have the quality of say an iPhone uh, 11 Pro or or for that matter even a OnePlus 7 um, um, Android phone is, is vastly better. The uh, processor is going to be f faster in the in the uh, a OnePlus or, or, or maybe a Note 10 or something like that. Th those still will be uh, much faster. They'll have at least the Snapdragon Plus processor Whereas this one just has an old processor in it, um, so you're losing on the on the processor also. Um, in the past, Google has had a bad reputation of uh, uh, their 3A was cheap plastic. Uh, their 3 um, was uh, had memory management problems, um, and so are they going to do better on this? Well, we don't know at this point. So the jury is still out, and so. Um, this was something that we'll have to determine um, on that. Are there any reasons to buy the Pixel 4? Well, you know, you can gamble on that. Um, the AI technology will get better. Um, you don't have a wide-angle lens on this, which is bad. Uh, there's no excuse for not having a wide-angle lens. Uh, Google said that they just thought that the telephoto was a more important thing, but then they only came out with the 2x optical zoom on the telephoto. And then they're using their zoom technology um, to give you a, a further distance. The problem with that is that even with the greater distance you get from their uh, AI technology that they're using with the digital zoom, that um, it still is not going to be as good as an optical zoom, and it's still 
uh, only going to be a little bit better than a digital Zoom. And so you really, um, it's, it's kind of a questionable issue also. So you're not really getting an awful lot. You're getting a phone that's close to a couple years old um, and, uh, and, 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 and a lot of the components that it has. Uh, the technology it may get better over time. Uh, hopefully it definitely will get better as far as the face ID is for sure. Um, so what are my recommendations? Well, my recommendations would either be something like uh, the iPhone 11 Pro or uh, the uh, OnePlus 7 uh, uh, Android phone. Um, and both of those options will, will be you're getting more for your money. Also, not only that, the price of the Pixel 4 is actually way too high in addition to that. Uh, what they're charging you for what you're getting is just 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 out of this, just not really there at all. Um, and so, um, I really can't find any other things to say good about the Pixel 4. I'm actually a Pixel 4 fan, um, mainly because I like a lot of the AI technology and, and, and some of the things um, that it would offer from that perspective. And so, it would be tempting for me to get it and just pay the huge price and, and just and not worry about it. Now, there is one good thing about the Pixel 4. Um, the retailers on the Pixel 4 will sell an unlocked version of this. And so, like, if you're on a prepay account or something like that, it can be a huge advantage um, having an unlocked version rather than just something that's locked to, to Verizon or Sprint or somebody else. And so that is a big, big advantage that you can that it's easier to get. You can also get it from Google Store uh, in unlocked version. And so I would strongly suggest getting an unlocked version. Um, not only that, this thing comes from the eSIM, just like the iPhone Pro does. Um, and the thing is, um, you'll be able to use it immediately by doing that. And so I would strongly recommend um, getting the um, unlocked version. Um, on the iPhone 11 Pro, you can still get an unlocked version, even though the stores and everything have it all locked down, where you, you can only get it with either Verizon or AT&T or somebody else or Sprint or whatever. Um, the thing is, uh, you can order it directly from Apple and, and get it um, with uh, this unlocked. And not only that, Apple has many ways of buying things from them. And so you can actually call their number directly and they can explain to you all kinds of different ways that you can buy things. And so you have an, a lot of options uh, with Apple. Uh, buying it directly from Apple and getting it unlocked is vastly better than going and getting that. So the Pixel 4 has an advantage that, that you can go to a store and get an unlocked version, whereas the iPhone 11 does not have that option. And so that gives of the Pixel 4 a huge advantage on that. Um, it can make it a hell of a lot easier for a lot of people um, to get um, the uh, Pixel 4 unlocked than it is to get, just to pick up an Apple uh, 11 Pro unlocked. Um, but also with the 11 Pro you can also get a much better video. You got 4K video, you have a wide, cam wide, a wide uh, camera, uh, better, you got Gorilla 6 versus Gorilla 5. Um, and so you have a better build quality, um, and also you can, um, Apple will sell you an unlocked version, which is really uh, the way to go. In fact, all the phones you buy from uh, Apple are unlocked, even if you get one with a Verizon. The only way you can get something locked with uh, buying it from Apple is if you bought an AT&T and used an AT&T credit card. Other than that, um, it, it's going to be unlocked, but uh, I would even just buy the unlocked uh, phone, even though it doesn't come with a, uh, a card in it. I can use my uh, card from my prepay phone and put it in it. Um, you can't go to Verizon and buy a uh, uh, an unlocked iPhone and, and use it. Uh, they, they, and also they have a, a two-month restriction on it, which means you're not going to be able to use the eSIM on it for something else and for two months at least. Or maybe even longer, and whoever does with Verizon. And then, um, in addition to that, um, th th you are also limited heavily uh, buying it directly from Verizon. So you'd be better off just going and getting the one from Apple and getting the unlocked phone. 
Anyway, that's all I have for today. Uh, those are my recommendations. Um, I strongly don't recommend uh, picking up a Pixel 4 unless you just got money. And then in that case, you can go ahead and just pick one up anyway. Um, so uh, if you've got the money, I mean, definitely go buy one because it's nice to have an extra phone. Um, um, in that case, you know, I would rec in, in that case, for anybody that has money, of course, I would recommend getting the Pixel 4. Uh, for anybody else, uh, you know, I, I think it's probably um, just n not the thing to get. They can get an, either a Note 10 or uh, a OnePlus 7 or a OnePlus 7T or whatever, and they'll be much better off in the long haul. Um, and also, they don't have to worry about the quality problems that that uh, Pixel has had in the past also. Um, but anyway, those are my recommendations. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And that's all I have for the day, and thanks a lot.